Hello Slayers, hello Heartstoppers, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're reacting to episode 3 of season 3 of Heartstopper, obviously. This one's called Talk, assuming we'll be getting some talking in this episode. JK. The first two episodes were excellent, 11 out of 10. Nick and Charlie confessed their love. I was a little confused, like, thinking, like, this was like year three in the relationship and then I kind of put it together. Actually, I think I put it together before they said I love you, but this is like basically still like a year, hitting almost a year now. That's interesting. This should really go into their college years. This should go far past the the graphic novels and stuff. Also, thank you again for telling me the lowdown on Solitaire in the book because I'm doing a book tube on my main channel. Link will be below if you're interested. I actually posted a good fall vlog look at this cute boot but yeah a lot has been going in these little jam-packed episodes i'm shocked that tori is the same age as like the crew like, why does she act like she's so much older than them and like why doesn't isn't she a part of the crew like the friends like tori is the same age as nick like is that correct I really liked Aunt Diane and Uncle Rich. Uh, now that like that vacation's over, I guess that'll be the end of her. That was kind of sad. But it was cute to like see him go on that vacation. Like it felt really real and stuff. Elle, I totally forgot that she's going to like, that art school. I wonder how the show will navigate that. That does add an interesting element. Isaac is on his asexual journey. I'm not gonna put too much of my input on that because some of y'all didn't like that, but I really love him as a character. Tara and Darcy, I love that Darcy was understanding of the way that Tara Jones feels, and they absolutely shouldn't be living together at 16 years old. You gotta build that shit up. If you guys are gonna be an old married couple in about two years, in that case. So I love that for them. Imogen, I hope you're in this episode. If not, I need a spin-off ASAP. Hello to all the new Slayers out there. Subscribe if you're new, comment below. If you wanna go crazy, give this video a share and a thumbs up, it's all for free. But if you'd like to watch my uncut reaction, check out my Patreon, link will be below. I have a YouTube memberships as well if you don't wanna do the Patreon jump for early episodes. But if you prefer the YouTube edit, let's get into it. Oh, I hate that noise. I have a nice calming noise. Oh, queer city, cute. Mm. There's a lot of books and references that I don't know. And like, uh, these are like Gen Z what? people, so I don't know who you guys think you are knowing these references that I don't. Mr. Young Millennials here. That's my podcast name. Check out my podcast, Young Millennials. I love you. Nelly. My dog's name is Nelly. I knew there was something specific about that dog's name that meant something to me, but I couldn't remember. Nelly, Nelly, where you been, man? I missed you. I missed you too. Oh, school started. Oh, loves it. And we're back, baby. So what year are we going in? Congrats on your amazing GCSE result. Thanks, Rachel. Oh, so Elle is gonna be going to the school like right now. Hmm, since when did our dress code include trousers? Form boys get to wear trousers, so why can't I? True. Yes, how was your I totally forgot about them. Yay, I'm so happy to see them. Hey, boys. You better get out first. I'll see you at lunch. See you at lunch. You'll have to be sneakier than that, or the kids will be saying you're engaged oh. by break time. Gym teacher. Oh, Nicholas. Are you looking at Charlie? He just looks like that. <laughs> oh, the lovebirds, I can't. I haven't seen you in 24 hours. Less. No kiss? Hug first. I feel that. Oh my god, a great hug. I heard it going out. You heard correctly, you dumbass. Come on. Up oh, the closet, of course. Ooh, we're building up that sexual tension because they believe we're gonna get there this season. No, we are. Choose a place you both feel safe. We love her. Mention the things that have Aww. concerned you. This is so cute. Let's try to avoid making the conversation about food and weight. That's what I meant. Like, don't be like, what did you eat today? Like, I said that in the other video. He's fortunate to have you. 
eat in the art room. Just us. Sounds good. Oh lord. What is that? Like a nervous tick? My brain isn't good at the moment. That's okay, we all have bad brain days. Yeah. Word. Where's the neck? Hey. No crumbs, okay? What are they, five? Stop. I think he's dating Mr. Farouk. They were sat together when I came in. There was a weird flirty vibe in Paris. Okay. Child, uh, um, about our phone call. Can we not talk about that? I don't want to think about it today. This is stressing me out. What are we doing for my birthday? That is a surprise. I know we had a birthday episode before. I guess it was Charlie's birthday. Okay, so we know Nick is a September birthday. I'm thinking Virgo. Else good for Saturday. Tao, it's supposed to be a surprise. Else coming. Oh. You didn't have to organize a huge thing. I did. Wish I had a boyfriend. <gasps> James, no. James. I need at least one single friend, okay? Don't you want to be with someone? The idea of it's nice, but um, it's just not what I actually want. You're like aromantic? What? You know what that is? I read a book where there was an aromantic character, and then I thought about what happened with us in Paris and stuff. Mm. All right. I can't believe how young she's supposed to be. I feel like she looks like my age, Loki. Happy birthday! Thank you. Do I get to know where we're going now? No. Of course not. Did you talk to him? Oh, she doesn't even know, right? Yeah. I need to see how old this girl is. It's killing me for some reason. I knew it. She's 29 years old. I knew she was like my age. I'm 30, about to be 31, but she's my sister's age. Girl's playing young. Ta-da! <laughs> So cute. So where are we at the zoo? Nice. Yeah, what are we gonna do, Isaac? Excuse me, ladies. <sighs> Don't you hate when people call you lady? Teachers at school call us it all the time. I've never really thought about it. <laughs> do you really? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just like, I'm not a lady. It's weird. <laughs> Interesting. This week's been a lot. In a good way? It's been amazing. It's happened to make new friends again, finding my way around a big new school. It's a lot. Makes sense. Oh no, it looks like you're stuck with me again. What does that even mean? Well, it's just so painful for you to have to hang out with us and not with your girlfriend. All right, they're making him a little annoying now, if I'm going to be honest. All you care about is your relationship. If you're so sad about being single, what happened to James? Don't look at Tao like that. He's been like a little gnat. What is this arm thing? I think it just me be an anxiety thing. I'm holding my thoughts to the Guys, end. Guys, this is really uncomfortable. Well, I'm not apologizing. Well, neither am I. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, maybe I have to say something because I don't know. Isaac is asexual. He's aromantic. So I can see why he could be annoyed, but like his whole storyline is like feeling alone and left out. And I've been single for like seven years so like i get like the being alone or like being the one without a lover but as an aromantic that's your that's like kind of gonna be your life so i would just think that he would be accepting of the vibes around him it would be great if he got like an asexual friend because they could really connect so i just don't like i feel like he's misdirecting his anger or vibes and putting it on other people that they're just living their lives they aren't a romantic they're in happy loving living life relationships but i know he's just also just feeling alone but i don't really know what you should expect in a way how and i were just in that obsessive phase you know when i dated my first boyfriend i was obsessed and i was so obsessed with nick when i liked him <laughs> And Ben. Oh my god, I forgot about that. But I that. got over it all. Ben, oh my god, Ben. I kind of thought you didn't really like Ben that much. Maybe. I don't know. Hey guys. <laughs> Cute. What you said to Isaac earlier was kind of mean. He's been like so passive aggressive about us like all week. Very annoying. Well, I hate passive aggressiveness. Maybe he has a right to. Which I am guilty of, but of it's not about me right now. Friends are important. You know this. You got angry at Charlie for doing the exact same thing we've been doing. This is where I'm aging out because adult friendships are so different than high school ones. But I guess this is like making sense. Adult friendships are like 
not talking for months and then picking right back up. Like, nothing's wrong. I'm really curious what we're going to do about him. Because it's like, obviously he's not going to get a boyfriend, so he needs to find a friend. But I feel like finding an aromantic, asexual person would be very difficult. I'm sorry. I didn't mean what I said. Is he going to apologize? Okay. I'm sorry, too. Thank you. You're right. I've been ignoring you guys since me and Elle started going out. I'm going to be a better friend. And I hate that I do feel bitter. You will make it seem like being in a relationship is the most perfect, magical thing anyone could ever hope for. It does feel pretty magical, though. Yeah, it's just really hard when I know that's not what I actually want. I guess I'm still just coming to terms with that. Yeah. He's so young. How does he know for sure, but... I think that one's gay. <laughs> yeah. Do you think they fall in love? Oh, I hope so. What about the ones who don't fall in love with any gender? Do you think they're OK just being on their own? I don't think they're on their own. They've got loads of friends. Do you guys get where I'm going with this or not? Yeah, we do. Uh. I don't really know how to feel OK with it. Yeah, uh, with being asexual and aromantic, it, it, uh, it's a process. We love you. I love you too. Time for a little chat. I feel really tired. I feel like Tao, surprisingly, is connecting the dots more so than the other friends. Is there something wrong with Charlie? Here we go. What's going on? You cannot talk to him about but it. But why? Because he can barely talk to me about it. I mean, he could ask him about it. He's his best friend. Or he could just say, like, what's wrong? Like, you know. For the best birthday ever? You are so cringe. <laughs> me and Charlie are matching. <laughs> <laughs> should we, uh, should we call it a day? Yeah. 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 I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dina, he liked my smell. Don't make it weird. What about my smell, Nick? Stop it. Stop it. Uh, to be young and in love. Rap very neatly. I'm the worst rapper. Uh, the, the, uh, the heart stopper graphics. That's so That's sweet. That's cheesy, but... The we love blanks. cheese. Mm. Wakey, wakey. Tell me to wake you up at night. Is it already? You're too young to be napping. I don't want to go home. Yeah. So oh, sleepy, wait. Though. Right. He's been tired all day because of this. Really tired all day. I should go home. The perfection of his hair is insane. Like, every strand is perfect. How are we gonna go about this? I'm just still really worried about you. It's not just the eating thing. I've noticed you've been really stressed and, and, and tired. But sometimes you just seem really sad. I know, I know you don't want me to try and fix you, but I love you so much, and I couldn't help but try. I really want you to talk to someone I can't tell what's going through Charlie's head. Your parents or a doctor or something like that. Don't be angry. Look at him. I'm sorry. <sighs> you just don't feel like I could ever get me back. You will. You can. You can. I promise you, you can. You just, you, you just have to ask for help. Or they get angry at me. That's so sad, but... Maybe I could come with you. Oh my god, yeah. Probably less likely to get angry if I'm there. Totally. That's that's T. Also I read. But I, I think that somewhere. they'd be fine regardless, but whatever Charlie yeah, feels right better with, I am here for. I've written it down because it's it's really hard to say. Oh. What's going on? It's so clear you could tell them anything. I've been finding eating really difficult. And I think I've been like this for quite a long time. Oh my god, Tori. I didn't want to admit it, and uh, now it's gotten way worse. So I I was thinking maybe I could go to the doctors about it. Maybe they could help. I have chills everywhere. I want to get better. <laughs> oh, the next episode is called Journey. Love that. We love the J word on my channel. All right, guys, that was really emotional at the ending. I'm happy that he's finally told his truth. We've been planting seeds since last season, maybe even the first season. Absolutely the second season. I'm happy that it's out. 
I kind of feel like moving forward, we're not going to like have like a group talk with the rest of the cast. I think we'll go into it where like everyone is in the know. I mean, it's fine if we don't. I just feel like that's the way it's going to go. I wonder if we'll be in his therapy sessions. I'd like to know, as someone that never dealt with this or struggled with anything like this, where it comes from from Charlie. I mean, yeah. Is it just like the world of social media, the Gen Z of it all? But yeah, I honestly was a little bit in my head in this episode. I could kind of like feel the comment section. Someone didn't really like my comment. Whatever, I'm not going to go into it. This is my channel and I'm not the fake reactors here that like just... Uh, I'm going to say how I feel... I'm gonna be real and that's all I could do here. I'll never be phony. I'm open to like hearing and understanding. No nothing that I say is in stone. Like I'm here learning. A lot of you bitches like to be short in the comments. Why don't you say a little more? If you have something to say, you can absolutely say it. Yeah. Moving forward, I'm getting out of my head because I'm done with I'm not gonna be controlled by little idiots online. Yeah. Okay. If you don't like it, watch all the other reactors. But I'm actually going to get on into the next one. By the time you're seeing this, it'll be long on my Patreon. So definitely check that out. Link in the description. Yeah, I felt like we didn't move too much ahead with the other characters. I mean, Isaac's storyline, obviously. Like, he has to do a lot of self-work, which makes sense, obviously. You can't be passive and annoying to like, everyone you have to realize this is your shit and you have to figure out how to deal with your shit he has no one to relate to he needs to come to that realization he should look <laughs> if this was like real life i'd be like go online look for like, a facebook group or something that's very un -Gen Z. but a group search the asexual hashtag in your area type of thing i'm very interested on how his character will develop on his situation like i hope we don't just like throw in an asexual character i hope he does the work to seek it out and find someone then it just being kind of fake like that yeah i'm interested in seeing that uh he Definitely came to the realization that he needs to take down his tone, I believe. So that is good. But yeah, I guess that is it for this episode. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Welcome all the new heart stoppers here. I started my journey as a reactor starting with this show. So this is extra special to me. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. It's Billy Bitch. <sighs>